Hello guys, how's it going? So, some good news has been in the news, though all of it's yet to be confirmed. We're all being very hesitant on the good news, but trying to look on the bright side of life and not expect the Spanish Inquisition. So, in Queensland here in Australia, they've, um, they're going to start to do, hopefully, trials by the end of the month. Um, with regards to treatment for the coronavirus. Go Queenslander! <laughs> I can tell this will be another bone of contention for like a state of origin when it comes around. If it comes around, well it should come around with treatments and stuff like that. Anyways, so that's a positive thing. So I was thinking about today, I was listening to the radio, thinking about yeah we need some positives with regards to this. Um, number one, that I could think of at the top of my head was that some people might actually get some empathy for the way that there are people who look normal, appear healthy, but they're like immun immunocompromised or they have chronic conditions. Um, so look, hey, this is kind of what a lot of these people live with every day, that they have to be very careful who they, who they are around with and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, some other benefits some people are saying is that there's less traffic on the road, so the couriers are like going, yes, awesome, less traffic. Um, what else? Um, kind of sucks that some industries are going to be um, experiencing a lot of bad times. However, um, for those places such as like restaurants, like thinking of it on the good side, they call up the restaurants and say, look, do you have any places or bookings or can I make a booking? And, um, you know, the, the restaurants that are all booked out, um, that you, you go to and um, or you want to go to they might actually have spaces now for you to go out and have dinner you know if you want to go out and have dinner you know there's some good things that happen uh, one person I know said oh it's great there's the gym is empty <laughs> he goes to the gym and it's empty um, and pretty much all gyms that I know or have been to have like those hygiene stations where you get the little bottles with the antiseptic stuff so you can spray all the the equipment before and after you use it and wipe it down and all that. Um, uh, what else? Oh, people might actually sort of slow down a little bit, um, see their friends and family a little bit more, or you know, take some time to tend to things at home. You know, that's a benefit. <laughs> um, what else? Hmm. I don't know. There, are, there is a lot of good that can come around with this and, and there is good news that, you know, um, and a lot of people are going on about the stats and all sorts of stuff. I've been looking at them and like going, guys, the stats, that's kind of simplistic mathematically, but you know what, there's not a lot of information coming out of China and they've kind of locked down all the information there. Um, so all the stats are skewed, plus the fact that it's still ongoing means that, you know, things are going um, to be flexible for a while and there's a time delay because it takes about 14 days for the symptoms and you know maybe a week or two for the you know for people to get over it and that it um, the stats might be delayed by you know a month or so um, that's all I can say about that what else good stuff well, I see a lot of people considering eating healthy more, um, looking after their health a little bit more. So that's always a bonus. People, you know, doing a bit more exercise, eating more healthy, taking care of themselves, getting plenty of rest. Um, as, as much as, you know, some people I know in the health industries, I myself are working in the health industry, um, there is a lot of stuff going on. Um, but also, please be considerate that these... Um, healthcare professionals and health industry um, they are doing a, as best as they can so it's best you keep calm and they will get around to it they're being smashed at the moment um, exercise a little bit of you know the brain power the gray matter there and have a look at your local websites and your government websites first and actual throws don't just go to the media or ABC or even you know, some other places um, go, to go as direct to the source as you can read everything okay read everything don't just read the first line and go oh my god this guy is falling or you know oh it's nothing you know <laughs> the two extremes are not helpful for you so 
Uh, what else? Ah, people learning how to wash their hands. <laughs> using protections and stuff like that, learning how to use their PPEs properly, you know. Uh, that's always a bonus. What else is a bonus? Oh, this time when alcohol is good. <laughs> uh, small gatherings, getting together with your family and friends, having them around your place, go to their place, um, visiting people that you've not seen in a while, um, provide they're not in self-isolation, you know. Um, getting in touch with your community, um, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, so, um, what are the good things you think have come about from this, this panic? Me, I also think another good point is that watching some people's reactions, I can kind of see how some people are really susceptible to the media and how much media that they consume. Um, so that's interesting for me, particularly about pe in and around people that I know. Um, so what's good um, about this current situation? What are you going to do that's going to be good? Um, oh, God. <laughs> the gardeners are all out and they're all getting healthy because they're getting some sun. You know, they get sun, they're very healthy that way, vitamin D. Um, so what are you going to do that's going to be, you know, boost your immune system, make you happy? What's beneficial? Are you still going to go? You're going to try and search out places that you've been wanting to go to, didn't have the time for, or have previously been booked out or too crowded or whatever, that are still open. And are you going there? Are you going to go take trips and, and haunt your little local grocers and butchers and all that sort of stuff to help keep the local economy going? Um, and are you going to go finally see some of those friends that you've been wanting to see for ages? Okay, anyway, what's today? Wednesday, hump day, happy hump day. Hope things are going well with you guys. Uh, just remember um, to go as much, go as direct to the source as you can. Don't just go to the news aggregates because they blow everything out of proportion. So either way, they blow it out of proportion. Anyway, so I best be going. There's lots of trucks going around. So um, me, I'm gonna keep calm and wear rubber every day and just um, be aware, be alert because the world needs more alerts and um, common sense, hand hygiene, uh, rest well, get some sun, continue these morning walks as much as I can. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye.